We can take you now to New South Wales, where police are investigating a stabbing at a Sydney hospital last night. For the latest, our reporter Lara Hyams joins us from the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. Lara, what happened? Well, Lisa, this can be described as only one thing, and that's really quite a brazen attack. We're being told that just after 10.30 last night, a 45-year-old man was taken here to this hospital. He was actually looking to be seen for an existing medical condition and paramedics had taken him by ambulance from another venue, waiting for doctors to see him. Now, while he's been waiting in triage, it's alleged that a 29-year-old woman had stabbed the man in the back. Now, police have described this as an unprovoked attack. We're being told that the two don't even know each other and it's still not clear what has actually triggered her to allegedly carry out this action. Police haven't quite shed any light upon that at this stage. But we did speak to one man this morning who said he witnessed the attack. He said that hospital staff reacted quickly when a knife was about 20 centimetres in length was produced. As soon as she spotted him, grabbed the long knife, about that long it was, and went straight through there and came out the other, other end. Security got there, everyone got moved away, and that's all the sooner of it. But... Well, this has sparked a debate into the security of hospitals, Lara, and we've been hearing concerns raised in Queensland about hospital safety. That's right, Lisa. This debate has been going on for some time. We have had the Health Services Union issue a statement today. The New South Wales Secretary, Jared Hayes, has produced uh, that statement to the media. He says that this latest attack is a very ugly incident, the latest in a series of violent incidents at Sydney hospitals. He has cited three examples from last year that really gripped the community. One where a man had produced a knife onto police officers at Nepean Hospital a nurse also being stabbed at Blacktown Hospital and a woman producing a syringe and stabbing a man at Lismore. He said that reviews have been taking place, but that's not enough. He's actually calling for 250 security guards to be deployed at hospitals across New South Wales. He wants them working in pairs and he also wants their powers beefed up so that they can retain and detain potential threats. Lara Himes, thanks very much.